Hi, this is Radar Roy from RadarDetector.org. I'm really happy today to introduce you to the Blinder Dude, the CEO from Blinder USA. Leon, welcome hey, out boy. here. Leon, i got to be honest with you. You could have picked a better day than today to come out here. It's 106 <laughs> degrees out here today, and we're going to be testing Leon's new uh, Blinder. It's the... HP 905 laser jammer. This just came out on the market, right, Leon? Yes, sir. Can yeah. you tell me a little bit about it? The HP 905 Compact is going to take the place of the M27, M47. The M27, M47 still shipping now. Okay. LED diode. This is a laser diode. Okay. It's... It's going to take off where the M27, M47 has left off. Okay. Now, you really did some really wonderful stuff with the M27 and M47. I really have to compliment you. But you're taking it to the next level with this, right? Yes. They're yeah. more powerful. And really, the, you know, what impressed me the most about this is the compact size. I mean, here, this is the cable. Sorry, it fell. But anyway, this is the size of it. Now, when you, here we have on our car here, uh, we have Leon's new blinder here. And this is the laser interceptor LI, and this is the Escort the shifter to ZR4. And we have them all installed on this vehicle. We're going to be testing all three of these units. But really, in relationship, what really impresses me is the size, Leon. How did you get all this into something this small? Blinder and International has stepped it up with the, with the size, with the laser diode, with the keeping up with the new technology okay. of the laser guns. Um, they keep updating these laser guns and we just keep having and we'll talk about that a little bit here in a bit but it really impresses me about the size because it makes it really easy to install those of you that have you know tried to install these laser jammers you know sometimes because of their size are really difficult and it's really easy you could mount these vertically or horizontally Absolutely. but you know honestly you know this in the horizontal position is probably the best performance unless you're coverage. in the dallas fourth worth area where they like to shoot you from overpasses right <laughs> and then you might want to consider doing that now this is the controller right leon yes now the one thing I noticed, you have the USB plug right here. USB port, so updatable you, software. So you just plug this right into your computer yep. to get the update. So if there's something new that comes on the market. Download the update tool from blinder.us. Takes about 15 minutes and you're and done. And you have it on your gun. That's, that's really cool. So this would actually probably mount underneath your dashboard. Yes. And it has a speaker up here. Here's the voice. And Does I had an opportunity to hear it. Yep. Kind voice of a sexy alert. female voice, right? They're actually in the update tool. You can actually change voice okay. alerts we're working on different voice alerts uh, uh we're always looking for what the enthusiasts are okay. looking for what the enthusiasts are asking for okay and we can put this into the update tool okay and if you want a certain update download it okay now another thing that when this activates when this turns on it says it's a parking sensor leon why do you do that the number one mode is a park assist it works well as a park assist. Yeah, so you also, need to park your car. You yeah, know, if you're going to pull job. out, it, it beeps, right? The, yeah, it's going to beep and if the, something's parking in front. Sensors, parking sensors are legal. Totally legal in all 50 states. Okay. Um, number one is park assist. It's a good way to check the unit okay. to make sure it's still working. Okay. You can go out, and if it's detecting, it's It's, it's going to be jamming. jamming. Okay. Now, this is the actual switch that would go into your dash or someplace you can mount it right. where you could control the different modes. So this this would be accessible to the driver. This you could hide under the dash, yes. correct? Now, here you have the different modes. Uh, you have zero, off. one, two, and three. So zero is off. Off. Okay, one is the parking sensor. Park assist. Okay, park assist. park assist. So you flip it to one, and you know the police officer suspects you have a laser jammer. He said, "No, that's a parking sensor, right?" Absolutely. All right. Number two, detection only. Detection only. So you're not jamming laser. You're only going to be detecting laser. And then number yeah. three, detection only is legal in fifty states. Yeah, hey, that, that's true, except Virginia and Was uh, Washington D.C. Laser detection. Oh, okay. Uh, number three is laser defense laser defense so what do you mean by laser defense leon we're we're this is a laser defense system it's going to defend against that speed trap laser defense is as we all know it's, it's a jammer it's, it's going to make your vehicle invisible to the police laser yes. gun now one thing i recommend guys those of you that have laser jammers i don't care what kind of laser jammer you have on your vehicle please when it does activate Please don't keep it in activation mode and just say, hey, you know, I love the officer. He's just standing there with his laser gun with that confused look on his face. No, don't do that because, you know, you kind of get them upset. 
you know, what I would recommend is, you know, flipping it into... I'm mo- glad you brought that up because it, it ships with seven seconds. Okay. You have seven seconds to slow down. You get the alert. The alarm's going off in the car. Take your foot off the gas. Relax. Slow down. You have plenty of time. You have plenty of time. Slow down. The system will shut itself down. You don't have to reach for the switch. It'll shut itself down in seven That's seconds. That's a real, real good feature because not all laser jammers have that. You can also go in and customize that feature, okay. if you will. But again, it's not a good idea to just go zipping by the officer and being invisible. Yeah. It, it makes it hard on the industry. It does. Now, what we're doing out here is, Leon, we got a bunch of laser guns. Let's step over here, Leon. Um, first off, this is our arsenal of laser guns. Uh, we have the Stalker. Uh, we have the new Stalker LiDAR long range. Uh, we have the True Speed here. Uh, this is the True Speed 2020. And then we have the True Speed S. S this is the European model? No, that's a new no, model. No, this here is a new model from okay, LTI. For, for LTI. It's uh, um, very compact. Very compact. Uh-huh. Um, we have the Pro Light. Uh, we got the Stalker gun. The Stalker gun just kills the ZR4. All right. But we have a full arsenal. What we have here, Leon, let me explain to you what we're going to do today. All right. We have all the guns here. Uh, H light, HL stands for a headlight, headlight shot. shot. I'll be shooting your yeah. headlight. The plate means we're going to be shooting the front plate because a lot of states are required to have a front plate. So we're going to go through this list. And we have here a, a private runway. I live here in a, on a private airstrip is where our office is. Uh, we have the runway closed down today. It were just to do this test. And this, tw- this runway is just under a mile long. So we're going to have plenty of room plenty to shoot room. the laser guns. Sure. Uh, to test you out, we're going to uh, shoot you first at 1,000 feet, 500 feet, and then we're going to see if you could jam us to gun. Okay. Okay? And then we're going to also compare your device to the other devices. Uh, that's going to be coming out in a later video, um, in a, or actually, you know, a later test that we're going to have where we'll compile all this data. But this really is, we're, we're going to be compiling your information on how you do. Okay. Leon, are you ready? You th- are you up to the challenge? I believe we're ready. Um, I, I think the HP 905 Compact is has the latest greatest software from each of the new laser guns and i think it's going to jam the gun all right let's see how you do glenn all right man let's go all right lti 2020 true speed jam to gun Custom Pro Light laser gun, jam to gun. Laser Atlanta, stealth mode, license plate, jam to gun. Stalker, jam to gun. We got on the True Speed S, we had one error code one. Uh, otherwise, it was a jam to gun. Stalker, LIDAR, LR, long range, jam to gun. LTI 2020, this is an older version. We got an uh, error code 2, E2, at uh, just under 1,000 feet. Otherwise, it was jammed to gun. Leon. Hey, Roy. How do you think you did, man? This uh, is the first official test, isn't it? All right. True. On the road, independent testing. This is the first independent testing that Blinder has done. We've done software testing, personal for Blinder, but independent testing... By an independent, independent website. Review, reviewer. You know, you're uh, the man. I'm the man. And I was in the car. Yeah. I'm in the AC. You guys are shooting out in the 
friggin' 110. I, I gotta be honest with you, Leon. A couple of guns sitting out here in the sun, when I picked them up, I about burned my hands. It's, it's I hot. Mean, it was hot. It's hot. Right? Again, it's like 106 out here. But I'm wait. I'm waiting for you to flip that page. Okay. Back. I'm sure our viewers are too. But Leon, how do you really think you did? I've seen the HP 905 work in our testing, uh -huh. and I believe we have a winner. I believe. Leon, I agree with you. I think you've got a winner. These results, guys, are really amazing. Let me share this with you, all right? Drum um, roll. All right. Yeah. All right. You j yeah. just going to go down the list of all the guns we did. We did the Stalker, all right? I had an EO, E4 error there at just 1,000 feet. All right. Uh, jam, jam to gun, but momentarily E4 error. And then in the front plate, jam, and then we had an EO4 EO4. error at 500 feet. Jam to gun, all right? Uh, custom. custom Pro Light, yeah. LTI Ultra Light. Tough gun. All right. Stealth, Laser Atlanta, stealth, stealth mode, mode and regular mode. Yeah. All right. We ran them in both modes. Um, True Speed S. That's that new little subcompact. That is a that cool is tough gun. software, and I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Okay, you had an E1 error. Okay. All right. It's, it's uh, that was at a thousand feet, but jam, jam to gun. All right. Uh, I like and, it. And the error is not on the laser gun. It's not it wasn't on your unit. Right? Yeah. And all that it, means is there's a problem with reception. Right. Okay. It, it's uh, target not acquired. Target not acquired. Okay. Um, True speed two. Jam. Jam to gun. Jam to gun. That's the, the regal. European. You had yeah. a problem with the regal. Two hundred feet. Inside of two hundred feet. That is a two, tough. That's 200 a tough gun. Two hundred feet. I was. That, that was the only gun today I was able to get any type yeah. of reading with you on, and that was both on the headlight. And the uh, and plate. The, the plate headlight shot. we got you at 200. And the headlight we got you at 210 so feet. It's, it's about so that's, the that's same. Good, it's, it's, right? it's showing. Stalker long range. Jam. Jam to gun. New gun. The LTI 2020. This is the older LTI that's a tough, 20. That's, that's a an tough, old one. Tough 100 pulse we gun. We had an E2 error mm -hmm. at 1,000 feet. Jam. Jam to gun. And again, jam to jam to gun. Leon. For such a I, compact unit, it's totally amazing, man. Great job, it's buddy. It's ready for the market, I'm telling uh, it's you. It's ready. I, and, I, and it, you know, this is not a prototype. No. All right? These are on the market no. now. We were able to obtain uh, the gun on a retail uh, retailer. Yes. Because, I, you know, a lot of times we have, you know, our clients or people say, hey, you know, this is a prototype. <laughs> you didn't bring this laser jammer out here. No. We got it from a retail source. That, I don't know where you got it from. We got it from a re <laughs> retail source, okay? And you, you know, you told me you're coming out here to do the test, so yes. I just wanted to make sure this test was on the up and up. And guys, this is just totally blows me away. Now, if you're interested in this uh, laser jammer or any other products uh, for speed countermeasure, you know, come visit our website at radardetector.org. We do a lot of reviews, independent reviews. I don't sell laser guns or laser jammers. I don't sell radar detectors. We strictly review them. Uh, it is an affiliate site, so I do make some commission from, you know, if you buy it from some of the other people that we recommend you buy it from, all right? Now, i got a special, special thing for you. If you download my free buyer's guide on RadarDetector.org, there's a coupon to get 10% off Leon's new laser jammer. So if you go to RadarDetector.org, download our free Radar Detector Laser Jammer Buyer's Guide, you'll get 10% off. Hey guys, if you like this video, please do me one favor. Please give us a Facebook like, give us a YouTube like on this. If you're viewing this on our website, radardetector.org, please post a comment. We'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions whatsoever, please email me direct. My direct email is radarroy at radardetector.org. Leon, Thank you for coming tough, out. Tough test. Next man. time, tough. please come out when it's a little cooler. But I got another challenge for you, Leon. What's that? Are you ready to take me up? Because this has never been done. I, hey, I think Blinders always ready for this. This has never been done. I'm gonna pick, let's take a walk over here, Leon. <laughs> I saw this. All right. I wasn't. I wasn't sure about this. This is my Cessna 182. <laughs> All right. We've never did. I, I, I don't know if anybody that's ever did a laser jamming test on a. Aircraft, aircraft? I know I haven't. I don't think I've seen it. I've never seen that. Would you be up to the challenge to install your laser jammer on my Cessna 182? I'll do it. And we'll record it. Let's and... do it. All right. Hey, Let's do it. Hey, I, 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 you know, I didn't know how this was going to come out. You guys, you guys put me through a test. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. It was like, well, this has like been four hours out here. It, it's it's, it's tough. And, but uh, thanks for coming out. Thanks. Uh, um, and, you know, stay tuned for more. We're, we'll see how this works on the Cessna 182, guys. Let, let's and, do uh, it. Again, any questions, email me direct. 
radarroy at radardetector.org. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thank Bye. you. And drive safe and smart.